It's hard to believe that Queen Mia has been ruling over Genovia for the last 15 years. When we last saw her, she was trying to stay true to herself while respecting her people, which wasn't an easy thing to accomplish. Now that the threequel is underway, fans are curious to find out what the movie has in store for them. Watch until the end to find out which family member is rumored to be taking over the throne come Princess Diaries 3. A princess? Shut up! Same cast. Anne Hathaway has managed to make a name for herself outside of the Princess Diaries franchise. She has gone on to become an Oscar-winning actress whose reputation precedes her, but she's not above reprising her old role as Mia Thermopolis. In January of 2019, Anne talked about the upcoming threequel while on the set of Watch What Happens Live. She confirmed that Julie Andrews, who plays Mia's royal grandmother, and producer Deborah Martin Chase are eager to reprise their roles. However, Anne also mentioned that they don't want to do a threequel unless it's perfect. Luckily for us, Anne is full of ideas and already knows how she wants Mia's story to end. So far, we know that Anne and Julie are in, and we also know that Mandy Moore and Chris Pine are also interested. This comes as a relief, because fans couldn't imagine Princess Diaries 3 without the wicked Lana Thomas and the charming Nicholas Devereaux. Still, fans are worried that some classic characters aren't going to make an appearance, so who do we need to see in the threequel? Well, there's Joe, of course, but we'd also like to see Heather Matarazzo and Robert Schwartzman reprise their roles of Lily and Michael Moskowitz, respectively. We're also dying to find out what happened to Fat Louie. While it'd be close to impossible for Louie to be alive and well, Mia might be caring for one of his descendants or a similar looking house cat. And lest we forget Mia's mother Helen, who is played by Caroline Goodall. So the future of your country is in the hands of my 15 year old? Without these mains, the newest installment to the Princess Diaries franchise just wouldn't be the same. Who else do you want to see in the movie? Let us know in the comments. Clarice and Joe Although the Princess Diaries franchise is primarily focused on Mia's coming of age and romantic relationships, there's another love story that definitely steals the show. Yes, we're talking about Clarice Rinaldi and Joe's secret love affair. At first, Clarice comes off as super strict and unforgiving, but soon we find out that she's harboring a sweet and flirty side, which she only shows to her bodyguard, Joseph. Their budding relationship is a constant reminder that love knows no age limit. From longing looks to spontaneous dances to a surprise engagement, it's clear that Joe and Clarice are a match made in heaven. Fans want to see these two amazing characters together again, and they won't settle for anything less. It's been confirmed by the Princess Diaries author Meg Cabot that the threequel script already exists. However, Anne Hathaway's rep reportedly told BuzzFeed that the script is way too premature to discuss. So we're hoping that Joe and Clarice will make an appearance in the threequel and remind us what true love really looks like. Things just wouldn't be the same without the power couple. Keep watching to find out which royal family member is said to be taking over the Genovian throne. New York City it goes without saying that the Princess Diaries novel and movies have their fair share of differences. In fact, Mia lives in Manhattan in the novels, whereas she resides in San Francisco in the movies. Although a good portion of the movies takes place in Genovia, we're used to seeing Mia as a city girl. Fans can't imagine Princess Diaries 3 solely happening in Genovia, which is why we need to see Mia and her royal family visiting her hometown. Got it! Give me five! Five? We can only assume that Mia visits her mother, stepfather, and little brother from time to time. And if she has kids of her own, she'd definitely want them to see where she grew up. Well, according to the late Gary Marshall, who directed the first two movies, it looks like they want to do The Princess Diaries in Manhattan. The late director passed away in 2016, just months after interviewing with People magazine. It was here that Gary confirmed that the project was a go and that it would take place in New York. Since the threequel will serve as a tribute to Gary's memory, we can only suspect that they'll honor his original idea. But what would Queen Mia be doing in New York? School Reunion there are many reasons why the Queen of Genovia would visit Manhattan, New York, but for the most part, we think that she'll be visiting her family. Perhaps Helen, Patrick, and Trevor will have moved to Manhattan and Mia and her family will be passing by for a visit. If there's one thing fans need to see in Princess Diaries 3, it's Queen Mia and Lana Thomas meeting face to face after all these years. So we're hoping that a high school reunion will be in the works. This would allow us to see what all of our favorite characters have been up to since we last left off in 2000. 
2004. Fans are curious to find out if Lana is still the classic mean girl she was in high school. However, during an interview with Elle magazine, Mandy Moore expressed her great disdain towards her character. She told Elle, if I'm going to be involved, I would be down for a cameo. Maybe Lana could make amends with Mia and apologize for being a bully when she was younger. Are you really speaking at the bulimic convention? So you can speak and barf at the same time? But while this would be nice, we sort of want to see Lana and Mia face off in the threequel. Did Lana grow up to become a kind and successful woman? Or did she turn out to be a cruel soccer mom with a hidden agenda? No matter the case, we'd love to see a high school reunion in the works. Do you guys think Lana has what it takes to apologize for her past behavior? Sound off in the comments section. Mia and Michael Okay, let's cut to the chase. Who did Queen Mia take as her husband? Although she made it abundantly clear that she didn't need a husband to rule over Genovia, that doesn't mean she stopped dating altogether. Although many of us were rooting for Nicholas by the end of Princess Diaries 2, some fans can't help but think that Michael is the obvious choice. After all, Mia and Michael do end up together in Meg Cabot's novels. So there's a very good chance that we'll see Michael sitting on the Genovian throne next to Mia. Whether Michael and Mia end up together or not doesn't change the fact that fans want to see actor Robert Schwartzman reprise his role as Moscovitz's sibling. In fact, after finding out that Mia and Michael end up together in the book series, Robert told Glamour that he'd be open to appearing in the threequel. We don't know about you, but we love the idea of Lily being Mia's sister-in-law. How amazing would that be? In the end, Michael did make Mia's foot pop during their first kiss, so he must be the one, right? Mia and Nicholas Wrong. According to some die-hard Princess Diaries fans, Nicholas Devereaux is the only way to go. Not only is Nicholas accustomed to the royal life, but he's an honest man who cares about the people of Genovia. I refuse to be king. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Princess Mia who should have the crown. He would be an amazing king who knows how to cater to his people. Despite being raised by the evil Viscount Mabry, Nicholas was able to stay true to himself and do the right thing. He went against his uncle to support Mia's claim to the throne and helped her become a kingless queen. Now, if that isn't true love, we don't know what is. On top of that, it's clear that Mia and Nicholas have a connection, and it's bound to have grown since Mia's coronation. We mean, who could forget Mia's flirtatious wink? Nicholas and Mia would surely be a power couple bounded by a strong set of morals. Although Michael would be all of these things and more, we just can't imagine him giving up his normal life to serve as a Genovian royal. In 2004, Chris Pine was far from being the successful actor he is today, so his fans would definitely jump at the chance to see him in the threequel. Chris has confirmed that he's interested in portraying the charming Nicholas Devereaux once again. However, we've yet to see his name on the casting list, so don't hold your breath. So are you guys Team Michael or Team Nicholas? Nicholas. Let us know in the comments. Kids. Whether Mia ends up with Nicholas or Michael is up to her, but there is something fans are holding out for. They want to see Queen Mia's children in Princess Diaries 3, and they might just get what they want. It's been 15 years since Princess Diaries' royal engagement came out in theaters, so it's safe to assume that Mia and her husband might have some kids of their own. Since the series is called Princess Diaries, fans expect to meet Mia's daughter as she starts training one day to take over the Genovian throne. And since Mia's makeover was such a success, Better. Much better. We'd like to see her children get the same royal treatment. If Mia's firstborn is a girl, she'll be around 14 years old, which is slightly younger than Mia was when we first met her. Coincidentally, her eyebrows will probably remain untouched, seeing as trends have changed and bushy eyebrows are now in style. Will Grandma Clarice be the one to instruct her grandchildren on how to act like a royal? Or will they be tasked with acting like normal kids while visiting Grandma Helen in New York? We think that Mia and her husband will have two children, the first born being a girl and the second born being a boy. What are your predictions? Lily and Jeremiah Princess Diaries 3 just wouldn't be the same without Mia's partner in crime, Lily. Lily and Mia were best friends before Mia found out that she was royalty, and their relationship never changed, even after things didn't work out between Mia and Lily's brother. Their friendship is one of a kind, which is why we need to see Mia and Lily hanging out after all these years. We'd love to find out if these besties have children of similar ages, and whether or not they're as close as their mothers are. It would also be amazing to find out that Lily and Jeremiah went from 
friends to lovers. And although Jeremiah sports a very different look these days, all it would take is some red hair dye to get him back into his old groove. We can only hope that Mia's children get to spend time with Lily's family every single summer. Want to be normal? Mia was against the idea of taking over the Genovian crown at first. However, she eventually chose to honor her bloodline and became the first kingless Queen Genovia had ever seen. I believe I will be a great queen. However, Mia is living proof that we don't need to follow in our parents' footsteps, so it's possible that our children will want nothing to do with the crown. In fact, we might see them trying to blend into a New York landscape while attempting to reinvent themselves. There's nothing wrong with wanting a normal life, and Queen Mia knows that all too well. So if her kids want to abdicate the crown, she'll probably be tasked with finding a new successor. And believe it or not, Trevor will allegedly rise up to the occasion. Trevor and Letitia Shockingly enough, Mia's little brother Trevor Thermopolis O'Connell will allegedly be tasked with taking over the Genovian throne. This comes as a surprise since Trevor isn't related to the royal bloodline. But according to an IMDb synopsis, Trevor will be recruited by Joe and trained to become a proper prince. And since Trevor will be known as a bad boy, Clarice and Joe will have their work cut out for them. The synopsis also states that Trevor will be 16 years old throughout the movie, and he'll be made to battle against Mia as snooty cousins before being pegged as king material. Actress Ali Marie, who is said to be playing Spanish princess Letitia Maria Stella, is set to play Trevor's arranged bride. However, whether any of this is true has yet to be confirmed by the original cast. So we're choosing to view this synopsis as a fan-made theory for the time being. Regardless, we'd love to see Mia's little brother pop up on the big screen. So, what do you absolutely want to see in Princess Diaries 3? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning into The Things. If you're as excited as we are about Princess Diaries 3, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Want to be the first to find out about Mia's upcoming adventures? Then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you next time.